Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority App Guy, and welcome back to Android Apps Weekly. This is episode number 134, so let's get right into it. Google is continuing their big changes with Google Wallet, but this one isn't so great. As of June 30th, the Google Wallet debit cards that were issued to people will cease to function. While it was a cool idea that some people used, it just never took off really, and Google likely wants more people to focus on Android Pay. Hence, the card will go the way of Google Helpouts. One of the funnier April Fool's jokes was Gmail's mic drop. It added a GIF of a minion and then permanently archived and muted the email thread once it was sent, never to be seen again. Unfortunately, some people weren't paying attention and ended up sending it to inappropriate people like their bosses and it ended up getting them fired. That's like 45% funny and like 55% horrible. A new study by Statista showed us which applications received the largest amount of growth between December of 2014 and December of 2015. The list isn't what you'd expect with applications like Lowe's, GIF Keyboard, Sirius XM, and others showing incredible growth. There were some familiar faces though including Airbnb and Microsoft's OneDrive. It was announced this week that Cortana will soon be able to show you notifications from your Android phone on your Windows PC. This is an often sought after feature that would be a welcome addition for many and we hope that one day we'll even be able to respond to notifications using Windows 10. It's no secret that Riptide GP2 was one of my favorite racing games ever so it should surprise you little that I'm wicked stoked about Riptide GP Renegades which is arriving this spring. The trailer was released and the game looks really good, it should have a decent campaign mode, multiplayer, and plenty of stuff to do. For even more Android apps and games news, don't forget to check out the latest Android Apps Weekly newsletter, which is in the video description below. We had a particularly big week in news, and there's a ton of stuff there that we didn't have space for here. If you'd like, you can subscribe using the form, which is in the written companion, which is also linked in the video description below, and we'll send the newsletter directly to your email every Sunday. Okay, folks, let's take a look at the apps and games that made a big splash this week. As usual, if you want to check any of these apps or games out, you can find those links in the video description below below. And Code Learn to Code is a free application that gets you started with the basics of computer programming. It does this by giving you bite-sized lessons that quickly teach you the very basic concepts of computer programming, including how to use numbers, strings, variables, booleans, and a whole lot more. It leans toward JavaScript, although most of the information is fairly universal. It's entirely free to download and use with no in-app purchases. The official Google Calculator has hit the Google Play Store and is ready for download whenever you want it. It's a fairly solid calculator that will do most of the basic stuff without breaking a sweat, but it's no replacement for something complex like a graphing calculator. It's entirely free, but it's not available for all or even most devices. If it's available for you, it's a flashy and good looking basic calculator that's entirely free to use. Lego Jurassic World is a new game out of Warner Bros that lets you replay the memories of all of the Jurassic Park movies, wonderfully recreated in Lego format. It features a ton of scenes and content from the movies, including all of the various chases, dinosaurs, and intense moments that we all remember. The game mechanics are interesting, although the controls could use a little bit of optimization. It's $4.99 with no in-app purchases, and it looks really good. MailTime is a new email application that organizes your emails into conversations like you would see in a text messaging app. It allows you to view the email thread as a conversation and respond in kind, which is way faster than the way it usually is. This is a unique premise since everyone uses email, but the mechanics of email have remained largely untouched in its entire history. It supports group emails, voice email, and a whole lot more. It's a bit buggy since it's new, but the idea is definitely solid. Mitomo has finally received something akin to a worldwide launch. It's available in more than just Japan, although there are still a ton of countries that can't get it just yet. For those who have been living under a rock, Mitomo lets you create a Mi character and then customize it with clothing items and interesting tidbits about yourself. You can make friends, answer questions, and get points. You can even use the platinum points for 3DS content if you link your Nintendo account. It's kind of fun, it's kind of creepy, and it's definitely Nintendo. And that about does it for this video, folks. If you want to keep watching, we'll have our picks for the best new Android apps and games of March 2016 linked up there on the screen and in the video description below. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. Oh, and uh, don't forget to sign up for that newsletter. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.